grand plans that's just been released, and that's this one. And it comes in six by six, and eight by eight, and twelve by twelve, and it's very good for making men's cards. So that's quite hard to get at times. Something that will make there's lots of flowery stuff, and it's quite hard to get something that will make a man's card. So the first half of these albums, as as always with the Trimcraft ones. The first half will have some special effect to see the Bayless like Spot UV in that one, and then textured and whatnot. And there's lots of things you can cut out. The second half of the album is double sided, so that's really good for making sort of this type of thing that you can show the, you know, the inside and the outside where you're going to make an envelope to put your card in. So, what I've done is I've cut some of the elements out from this and added them onto the front of the card and double-sided sticky tape, you know, sort of like raised up 3D foam. Yeah. So there you are. Do you want to pass those round and have a little look? Okay. Uh, and there's a couple more. And then the other one that is just about to be released is the Floral Fusion. So it's totally different from that one. And it's kind of like an oriental feel off it. Lovely peaches and blues and things and nice birds on it. So again, this is linen effect. Uh, linen effect the first few and then lovely sheen off them, like paralyzed. The papers are absolutely gorgeous in that one. Nice glittered effects as well. And then when you get halfway through, you're back into the double-sided ones again. So that's again, eight by eight, six by six and 12 by 12. And all the nice bird things on that um, match in really well with the new Trimcraft and Dovecraft eyes. So there's a few of the samples that I've made from it here. Um, this is the nesting doily die on the back and the border. And then this one's, the big one is cut from a 5x7 craft a card die. And these are from the new little uh, Dovecraft eyes as well that's on there. So that's that one. Yeah, you can have a look. Yeah. And then the, uh, you have to tell me, flamingo. <laughs> so the flamingo dye matches in really well with the papers and things. And those Dovecraft dyes are really, really well priced as well. So they're usually very popular. And the dyes then can be cut obviously from plain card or done from the pattern paper that matches in. So that's nice. Uh, the other thing is the peacock one, which is also really nice. And the reds and that from the textured cardstock. Do you know the big 12 by 12 textured cardstock from the, the dyed ones? Really good for matting and matting and layering onto that with. So that's that. And then that's a five by seven one of the crafter cards. But have any of you been trying those crafter cards in the shop? Do you know the, the the big five by seven and six by six ones? No? Yeah. Have you tried them? Yeah. And then that's the stuff inside with the other ones. Well, I'll show you how those ones work. Uh, they basically don't have any outside edge on them, outside cutting edge, so all of the cutting is done in the centre, which makes it really good for making a nice filigree kind of card, see like this one, where it stays in the card. And there's lots of different colours in the Dovecraft 6x6 six six cards that these all match and match you know, all the different papers and things, so that's one of them there. So this is the glitter card. And those dies cut really well through the glitter card as well. If you <laughs> is that glitter? Everybody loves glitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So again, this is just one of the six by six Dovecraft cards, and this is from the Wild Flowers pack. I've trimmed it slightly and just scored that at one centimeter so it'll fit inside. And what I'm going to do then, my masking tip, I'll set that down so you can see. So the die basically, if you just center it onto the front of the card and tape it down well because you don't really want it moving about inside that machine when you roll it through. So if you just centre that yeah, yeah. Yeah. the thing with these card these dies are it doesn't um, doesn't take an awful lot of effort to make a really nice card with it. So tape that onto your cutting plate and put the top plate on and run it through the machine. And then the pressure will cut the pattern through into the card. Right, 
Some of the smaller dies you might only need to put through once, you know, once each way, and that'll have the, there's a lot of detail on that one. So I would always put it through maybe two or three times just to be sure you've got it all. Then, and then you can turn it over and check, and if there's any wee bits that are still needing cut, just a little bit of card on top. A shim, yeah, just a couple of bits there. So I think what I would do is put a piece of card on there and run it through once more in that way. It's just adding a little bit more pressure onto it. There we are. Just remove the masking tape nice and gently. There we are. Lovely. Yeah. And then some of these elements all pop out on the front of it as well. So because that's nice and filigree and, and open like that. I don't really like to sort of glue the paper onto the back of it and take that away. So what, what I've done then is just scored this and with a bit of double-sided tape here. Oops, I'll just run this down here. pop this on the inside. And we've got a nice nice colour as well. And then do you know the Simply Creative gems and pearls that come in these sheets? There's loads of different colours of those and they're just ideal for putting on the front of that. So you know, lots I will There you are. So that's, that's how easy it is. If your customers ask how to make those, you can show them that. And obviously you can add, you know, different elements onto the back of them. Uh, there's different patterns in that as well. So I'll show you so all these different. I think they're hanging over on the wall over there. You can see them over by the... Um, this is the one that I've cut the... Sorry. This is the one that I've cut the uh, butterfly off on the other, the other one. And the width glove is from this one here. Okay. All right. So on all of these cards, I've done out the die cuts either in plain white or from the patterned paper. But you can also use your pro markers on them as well and get a bit of shading and just give them a wee bit more life. You know how we look. That's another one, the crafter card with lots of gems on the front. And that's the um, the peacock one as well, the Dove Craft die. So the other thing I was going to show you, I have to keep moving on here, but the other thing I was going to show you is the plaid paint effects, painted finishes. So there's, there's concrete and moss and rust in these. That's a really nice textured finish. Have any of you tried any of these? No? No? Okay. Right, well you'll have to have a look at these because they're really, really nice. You can use them on wooden elements and the card, you know, the card paper mache kind of thing as well, but uh, on canvas as well. Right. And then I've been using them on cards as well, so you can actually paint them onto the card. See, like this this brick effect that I've done on that one—that's the concrete with the moss. And then this is the rust effect painted on. So they come in two ounce bottles um, with a light and dark in each one. The light and dark in the moss and the light and dark in the rust and the concrete. And they're just so easy to put on. Now I've already put a little bit of chalk paint onto that but you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, it's very, very heavily textured and you just dab it on and it gives that lovely raised up effect. The two ounce 
um, bottles are just sort of really good size for your customers to try them out. It means they're, they're more inclined to buy the, the moss and the rust and the concrete together if they... So, uh, so there you are. Uh, ideally, I would let that dry just a little first and then put the lighter one on just to give it a bit of detail. Um, that's one I did last week and that's really, that's just a Pringles container with lots of this put on. So, um, I sh I'll give you a handout of that if you give me a, a shout before you go. And then just randomly put some, see the way I've put the dark one on first there? Yeah. And then it blends in nicely if you do just put it on over the top before it's dry, but I usually do let it dry, but I haven't time today. <laughs> Then obviously you can put some moss onto that once that dries, but isn't that nice? Nice, lovely textured effect. So I set that there to dry for a minute or two. And just show you some of the, that's the rust paint effect on there. It comes in light and dark. I raised his eyebrows there. <laughs> And there, and this is the uh, grotto and black chalk paint in below. That's a really nice background for the chalk pa for the um, rust on top of it. You expect when you lift these that they're going to be heavy, don't you? And then they're, they're actually it's really light. There you are. And this one then is the Spanish moss chalk paint in the back, and just with a few twigs. And then thought that the moss paint is really effective on top of that. It's quite realistic looking. If you want to. Have a little look there. There we are. Okay. So I've been using them with the stencils as well, and that's one of the plaid stencils that I've just sponged some um, chalk paint onto as the background, and then put the moss on top of that one as well. Can I have a look there. So that's a good way of com if if you've got card makers coming into the shop, a good way of getting them to use that kind of thing that's more arty or whatever in with the card making stuff. Because that's, that's using the wildflowers paper, the dove craft and trim craft dyes, the, the simply creative pearls, the plaid stuff, and everything all combined together, which is always handy. Did I show you this one? No? <laughs> that's three die cuts put together so it's just that wee bit thicker, and then put the rust paint over the top of that as well, and onto the edge of that, so. and a little bit through the stencil. That is Mod Podge uh, d Dimensional stuff, so yeah, that's very nice too. So. Okay. Um, now, the other thing I was going to show you, the wedding stationery. Hills have this, so quite, quite a bit of this is already pre-cut and pre-made and then I have added bits on, it's really just to customise what's already there. Have you already seen some of this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? The, this one here comes just ready made with the pearls, the, the little gems in the packet. And then there's the paper inside that you can just print, do your printing on and pop inside and that's it totally finished. This is already pre-scored and you just fold it and make it up. And then they sell these gems and the heart shapes as well to put on the top. And these are just ordinary aperture cards. And then I have die cut the um, Dovecraft dies. That's a really, really inexpensive little die. And the butterfly one as well. And just that, you know, just to make it on your own shape. And the wedding cake onto this one. Uh, first edition uh, paper cuts. Have you seen those? No, they're, they're a lot finer than die cuts, but they come pre-cut. And that's one put onto the front there. I'll show you those in a second or two time. And then these heart-shaped cards come, these heart-shaped cards come with, um, you can add the doilies and the die cuts and stuff onto the top. And these little place names have a heart at the top of them. So rather than just leave the heart, you can add different things onto the top of that. Um, I have handouts here to give you of those. Can you see that? So pass all these round. Um, so you have something to take home and then you know you'll... There you are. If you take one, just pass it around and you can give me what's left at the end there. And then this one is of the, uh, the plaid concrete finish as well. So that's that one. Okay. Right. Um, 
These are the albums, you know the little albums that they've got from Trimcraft and they come in 8x8 eight eight and 6x6, six six, sorry 8x8 eight eight and 12x12. 12 12. So I, I have just used this one to show different ways that it can be used so that I take this as a sample when I'm going around. Uh, this one would be showing how to use show a wedding book the guests can sign on the inside of it or whatever and then different ways of decorating the inside. So. Lots and lots of pages to decorate in those. Have you seen those? Yeah, there's the plain big black on the There's, white there's black and white and the craft colour as well, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. So there we are. And lots and lots of pro marking. You maybe be better at whenever I finish just having a look around. So I've been using the the dove sorry, the plaid stencils over there with the chalk paint and acrylic paint as well trying a little bit of the one stroke painting there with the acrylic paint as well and some, incorporating some stencils into it. I don't know if I'm supposed to move but I'll just carry this with me. Um, that's it there. So that, that's just the acrylic paint that I've been doing some of the one stroke painting with and then these are sten some of the new plaid stencils and that's one of the little hearts that they have as well with the stencil at the top and then and a little bit of the die cutting onto the top of that as well. Um, so there's a new range of mini dies. Mini stencils, sorry. Are you? They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. And they come in little packets, so they're really, really small, but they're lovely. They're cute fairies and bits and pieces. There's the fairy on there. So those are all plaid. Okay, small ones. Um, there's a new effect from plaid that's coming in one of these painted finishes as well, and it's called Barnwood. Now, they haven't just got it in stock yet, but it will be coming very soon. So that's the effect that it, it produces. 